Hi, I'm Randy Reed, editor of the Edison Report, and we are in Frankfurt at Light and Building, and I am joined by Marshall Miles, the CEO of Inventronics. Marshall, welcome. Thank you, Randy. Happy to be here. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. Certainly. And tell our audience a little bit about what's going on with Inventronics. Certainly. Uh, some exciting times. We uh, just celebrated our 15th anniversary um, just last month, so been in the business 15 years now. Um, grown considerably. We've grown revenue every single year in that 15 years, even, even, COVID? even during COVID. So rest of the industry down 18% or so by our calculation, we were up 6%. I've heard some down 40 percent. Some were down substantially more than the industry average, yeah. So, so what, the congratulations, and what do you, you attribute that to? Uh, we've really um, focused on creating value for our customers, and in different times that takes on a different look. So we, we talk a lot about being agile, being adaptable, um, making sure that we're focused on the market share that, that we want and, and working with our customers to create that value. So to me, that's a big part of, of how we've grown. When you say you're working with customers to create value, do your customers do a good job of forecasting? No, not particularly. Okay. And, and, and that's, that's part of the way we create. So by creating value, um, to me, that's solving problems. So we talk to our customers, we understand the challenges they face, we understand the, the issues they're dealing with, and then we try to help bring solutions to that. And so. Um, to me, solving problems or creating value is all about solving problems. You have to understand your customer well enough uh, to understand their problems. Yeah. You, know, you and I sat down at Light Fair, we did. which was in May of this year, and we talked about supply chain issues, and you said you had some products that were out a year. Yeah. That, has that improved? Uh, overall, a, a little bit. We still, have, we still have components that are 52 week lead times or, or, or longer. So. Um, the, the number of really constrained components is coming down. We're seeing a, a, a general easing of the supply chain problems, but still some, some substantial issues to wrestle with. And uh, it'll be some time before we see how and exactly when all that shakes out. But I do see it uh, easing over the, over the next six months. Okay, it's great because everybody needs drivers. <laughs> Got Everybody that. needs light, and you can't have light unless you have some power. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I think uh, a couple months ago, of course, you announced the acquisition of Osram Digital Systems. Yes, and Digital Systems Eurasia. Eurasia, and uh, that was July or August you announced uh, June, June, June announcement. June, June, okay. Yep. How is that going, and when will that close? So it will, uh, it's a very complex process. That's, that's a, a sizable company. They have assets in 30 different countries. Um, so the complexity is fairly high, uh, not only on their end, but as a publicly traded company uh, in China, a lot of hurdles. We've got to make sure that we have all the right documentation um, and uh, all the right financials. It's a material asset restructure. So a lot of things to, to, to go through, all, all very doable, but the amount of time it takes to put together all that is substantial. Uh, so it'll probably be um, uh, March, April timeframe to, uh, to get this deal closed. And they're bigger than you are. They are actually larger than us in terms of revenue. Um, okay. We have more employees. Um, we do have a lot of our own operations, so more assets. But in terms of revenue, yeah, we're going to more than double in size. Will you keep the Osram brand? Will you keep the name, or how will that work? Good question. So AMS Osram is an ongoing concern. Uh, they will own the Osram brand. We, have, we will have a license to use that for a substantial period of time. Uh, during that time, we'll work on a brand equity transfer to, to, to transfer that Osram brand over to the Inventronics. So when we talk about this acquisition, uh, you're big in high power. Is, we are. Is Osram big in high power? So th this is the exciting thing to me, is it's a very complementary acquisition. Um, our strength is really on the high power side. They're on industrial products. They're really high, strong on commercial indoor products, lower power. Um, so it really creates a strong portfolio. We're uh, a clear number one in, in the high power in, in products above 300 watts. And we've done that by establishing a leadership position in horticulture, in sports lighting, in high mast. And we're doing street light projects all over the world. So that's been our strength. They've been very strong in the, in the indoor products um, and linear uh, downlighting, uh, lots of applications like that. So it's very have, complimentary. Do they have much of the high wattage? They have a little bit, they do. Okay. Um, and they've, they have some success. They have some good technology there. We'll, we'll fold those together. Um, 
but uh, overall the, the, the overlap is fairly minimal. It's very complimentary in terms of products, it's very complimentary in terms of geography. Europe's growing quickly for us, but it's one of our smaller markets, clearly their largest market. Okay, never thought about that. So right now, Inventronics is really strong in Asia, very strong in the U.S. We are. Okay. We are. And then Osram is strong. Osram is very strong in, in Europe, and then rest of the world, we've got a, a combined, we have a pretty substantial footprint there too. Will you be number one when this happens? Um, I believe we'll, we'll be the strongest provider. I believe we'll have the best portfolio in the industry. We won't be the largest uh, yet. I think it puts us on a clear path. Um, I've told a number of our, our customers we'll be the largest uh, supplier that's not competing with you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Very good point, and uh, we know exactly who you're referring to. <laughs> I didn't name any names. So, okay. so I see that, <clears throat> excuse me, Osram Digital is here. They are exhibiting. I've not been to their sure. booth, but I've been to your booth, yeah. and I couldn't find you because your booth was so busy. <laughs> so w what are your impressions of the show? Uh, overall, uh, it's 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 better than expected. I mean, it's 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 not the the light and building of past years. Some notable participants missing, uh, but for us, um, we have had very steady traffic and at times overwhelming traffic. It's it's been a it's been a busy time and a lot of great customers from around the world. Um, so it's been a it's been a positive experience for us. Okay. Well, and we've been busy here too. We've just been Good. nonstop, so we are Good. pleasantly surprised. I was kind of expecting to be a little bit desolate, and it's been anything but that. So, yeah. Okay. Very good. Well, Marshall, thank you. All right. Pleasure. Thank you, Randy.